Hello everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 awesome Android applications that I think you guys are going to love. And guys, before we begin, if you enjoy watching the content, make sure that you subscribe and follow me on my social media accounts. I'll put all the links in the video description. All right, so I'm going to start off with the application that you already see on the screen, the live wallpaper. So this live wallpaper is called Hex Shaders and it is available in the Play Store. So this live wallpaper hex shaders is probably one of the best live wallpapers I've ever seen and check this out this is actually the exact same wallpaper on all three of these phones just a different effect that I've selected and this looks absolutely amazing. So let me show you how you can actually configure this. So we will open up the app drawer and once you install you will see the hex shaders icon over here. So from over here you can pick a different shader. So this one is actually bacterium. Man, that looks absolutely stunning. You can also choose to decrease the detail level if you wish to and you will notice that it is actually a honeycomb pattern. Increasing the detail will obviously put more detail in the wallpaper, but I prefer that you leave the values on default. You can also choose to speed it up or slow it down. Another one of my favorite effects is electric and I think this looks absolutely stunning on the screen. So yes, this one is called Hex Shaders and I think this is one of the best live wallpapers you can get for your Android smartphone. Now, if you are into more 3D and minimalistic kind of wallpapers, check this out. So this one is called Chroma Float Live Wallpaper and this is one of the best free wallpapers that you can get for your Android. And I really like the 3D effect so as I tilt my phone, you can see the wallpaper also changes its shape. And speaking of shapes, if you shake your phone, that's going to change the color and the shape of the wallpaper. So that's how you shuffle between wallpapers. So let me quickly show you what you can actually configure with this one. So after installing the wallpaper, you will automatically see the wallpaper icon. Just tap on this and it will take you to this screen. Tap on the gear icon to go to settings and over here you have a ton of customizations. First off, you can choose a different shape. So I have a few of them selected. Pressing this icon will give you a little preview. Then you can also choose a color palette and you can also create your very own custom color palette from over here. So there are plenty of customizations available for this live wallpaper. Plus you can also tweak the parallax gyroscope effect. And the best part is there are absolutely no advertisements in this live wallpaper. Awesome, right? And speaking of wallpapers, a lot of you guys were asking which wallpaper app is the best. Well, I personally use Wallcraft. So this is the app that I use to download super high resolution 4K wallpapers. Now you do have a ton of categories. My personal favorite is the dark category because you get wallpapers that look absolutely stunning on the OLED screen of this phone. Downloading the wallpaper is also super easy. Open the wallpaper up, press the download button and select original to download the full high resolution wallpaper. And I like the fact that they have credited the artist over here. Okay, so after the wallpaper downloads, it goes into your gallery. It's right over here. And then you can set this as a wallpaper or share it with your friends and family or any other Android device. So yes, Wallcraft is my favorite application when it comes to downloading wallpapers. And again, the application link is in the video's description. Otherwise, search for Wallpaper HD 4K backgrounds and download this app on your phone. Oh, and by the way, this application does contain some advertisements, but I think it's totally worth buying the ad free version because then you don't get annoyed with advertisements. And I think the content they have is fantastic. Reading PDFs on such a small screen can be a bit of a challenge. But what if I told you there is an app on the Play Store that allows you to convert PDFs into audiobooks? Well, there's a reader called eReader Prestigio Book Reader. So this is a multi-format book reader and a PDF viewer, ebook, text to speech and audiobook player. So this one will convert your regular PDFs into audiobooks. So here's the same PDF file opened up in the PDF viewer and if I press on this button, it will actually read through the PDF. Right motor and 
and drive combination can save energy and improve performance. The venerable electric motor that was the muscle of the industrial revolution is becoming awesome, the smart right? muscle of the com And this app is free, but you do get advertisements in it. So as you can see, you do get advertisements. You also get a small advertisement over here, but I think this does not hamper the app functionality. By the way, you will need to choose the text to speech option from over here. These paid ones are really good, but you can choose Samsung text to speech engine if you have a Samsung phone and Samsung's version of text to speech engine is far superior to what Google offers. This is a test sample. Listen to appreciate the text to speech engine. This is a test sample. Listen to appreciate the text to speech engine. So Samsung's very own text to speech engine is far better than what Google has to offer. Now this app also has its very own store. You can go to the store and browse books and they do have about 5,600 free ebooks. But still, for me, the best part is that you can import your very own PDF files and turn them into audiobooks just like this. The principal factors in energy and there are plenty of settings to choose from. You can change the rate and the pitch. Factors in energy saving calculations. The principal factor, the principal, the principal factor, the principal factors in energy saving. So that's awesome. And this app was suggested to me by a subscriber. So thank you very much for the suggestion. I love this application. And guys, you can leave your very own app suggestions in the comment section down below. I might include them in the next video. If you have ever used your phone with one hand, you'll know how difficult it is to change the brightness or to toggle the Bluetooth Wi-Fi on and off because then you have to do this to drop down the notification panel and then you will be able to change the brightness. But if you have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, you can download an application called One Hand Operation Plus. And this app gives you access to quick tools if you swipe down like this and this allows you to change the brightness volume you've got your pay pause buttons and then finally you have your wi-fi toggle sound toggle you can also take a screenshot by tapping over here what a superb utility app right guys and this is especially very useful if you are using gestures on android so the name of this application is one hand operation plus and i think this is only available on samsung galaxy smartphones but if you are using a vanilla android phone i'll also show you an alternative in just a bit so we will go to our app drawer and open up one hand operation plus so inside over here you do get a ton of customization i'm not gonna go through each and every one of them because then this video will become like 20 minutes long but i'll show you what i have done i've gone into right handle which is this one and from over here, I've changed what swiping diagonally down does. That opens up the quick tools. So tap over here, scroll all the way down and then select quick tools. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. Once you swipe down, that will open up quick tools. And you can also do this for the left handle, but I kind of prefer having it on the right handle because then if I'm texting someone, it's very easy to change the brightness just by doing this. Now, if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, a good alternative to the One Hand Operation Plus application is Control Center. So as the name suggests, Control Center will give you an iOS style control center on your screen. And from this, you can control the brightness, sound level, you have play pause buttons for the music player, and then Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle buttons and then you also have some shortcuts so it's very similar to what Samsung One Hand Operation Plus does but this is kind of more fancy when it comes to the UI and these are highly customizable you can change the size color position background you can also customize the control if you want more applications over here you can also add them so control center is also a really nice application I like it thumbs up from my side so I guess guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Also, if you have any personal app suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. I might include them in the next video. And follow me on my social media accounts. I'll put all the links in the video description. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos like these. I'll see you next time.